Good morning, good morning. I thought I would try and get a real quick workout posted this morning before the kiddos pop back by. They're off having breakfast right now. This is seated core. So this will be a nice quickie, but uh, hopefully effective and will feel great for you. I have a nice sturdy chair. My feet planted underneath my knees. I'm sitting up nice and tall. Sitting on both hips, abs engaged, roll back with my pelvis, but not so far back that I am on my tailbone. So lift up oh, off the tailbone and lift your shoulders up, roll them back, press them down. See if you can keep a long spine throughout this. Starting off by pull the belly in and release. Pull your belly button toward the back of the chair and release. You'll feel your pelvis rock a little bit. Contract and release. Contract and release. Four more. Four and three and two and one. Nice. Pull, 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 pull in. You'll notice I did not round back this time. I'm just lifting up and contract through the whole pelvic floor, squeezing through your bottom as well, lifting yourself up off, away from the chair, lifting yourself taller in the chair. Pull that belly button in tighter. Make sure you're breathing. Count with me. Four, three, two, one, and release. Do that again. Squeeze and pull that up. Hold that whole pelvic floor. Four, three, two, one, and release. Again. Pull, lift. Four, three, two, one, release. One more time. Pull and lift. Four, three, two, one, and release. Cross your arms across your chest. Sit up nice and tall. We are going to lean straight back toward the back of the chair. Do you have to touch the chair? No, you don't. Make sure you are using your core to release yourself back under control and using your core to pull yourself back up. Back, lift. Think of Scooping out that belly as you lift back up to your seated position. Back and lift. Four. And three. And two. And one. Nice. One shoulder toward the back of the chair. Let's rotate back. So you can sit up tall to do this. Option number one, or option number two, if you're feeling very strong through your center, through your obliques, then you can add that lean back so you are attempting to tap your shoulder to that corner of the back of the chair. Yep. Two more. One more. Let's go to the other side. So again, you could stay up tall and just rotate, or you could do the lean back toward, reach back. Still thinking of lifting tall. Two, one, and nice. And you reach out, push away. Pulling your belly back, 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 and pull back up. Pull your belly back, 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 and pull yourself back up. Pull your belly back, back, back. Notice I'm rounding into a C shape. Pull back, 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 and sit up nice and tall. Stay there. Keep your hands out in front of you. Relax those shoulders down. Lifting one leg. So here, as you lift the leg, make sh making sure that spine remains long. 
So, do you have to tap your hands? No, you don't. If you can, sit up nice and tall and tap your hands with your knees, that's just fine, but you don't have to go there. You could be right here. Four, three, two, one. Opposite hand to opposite knee. So I'm going to rotate slightly. And again, this is the no. Don't collapse back. Sit up tall. If you have a ball, you could use your ball in the small of the back. If you don't and you need a little bit of help, this is also a reminder if you are leaning way back into your pillow, then you'll know you're collapsing. So see if you can have the pillow there or ball for some support, but make sure you are not squishing the ball or squishing the pillow. Four, three, two, one, and center. Lift up and open. Ah. You can reach up with the arms, or you can leave the arms down and just lift up the chest. You can drop those arms down. You could be there, or you could be there. It's up to you. And release. How, how are you doing so far? We are going to lean forward. So we worked the front and the sides. I would like to work a little bit through the back. So you may support yourself forward on your thighs. Keep a nice long spine. I'm going to try and keep my head as a part of my spine, leaning forward. Now I'm going to pull my belly button in, not changing the shape of my spine, using these muscles to pull myself up. Make sure that you do not lift your hips off the chair. Lean forward and lift up. Lean forward and lift up. Or lean forward and lift up. Hi, Bella. If you've been following my videos, you've met her. This is my dog, Bella. She's a, she's a oldie, but a goodie. She's a sweet girl. Let's do one more like that. And now stay right here, stay long. All I want you to do is look toward the ceiling, rotating your shoulders, stay long. You could use the pillow here for a little extra support if you need it. You could use your ball if you have one, or you can just have your hands on your thighs. Back to center, same side. Turn and look. So we're using the muscles alongside of our spine and our sides to hold us in this long position and to rotate us. Do that again. So you can be right here, unsupported or supported. Let's go to the other side. So start long, pull this in tight. Just look back. And back to center, and look back. And look to center, and look back. And look to center, hands on the thighs if they're not already there. Lean forward, round forward. Feel your shoulder blades slide wide across your back. Lift, 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 lift. Ah, roll back and release. Do that again. Leaning forward. Let those shoulders round forward. Let your head drop. Slowly lift, 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 lift. Back. Shoulders roll back. Press down. And relax. Nice.
nicely done. Up once again, nice and tall, hands, reach back, grab hold of the back of your uh, seat of your chair or the bottom of the back of the actual seat that you're sitting on and lean forward, pulling your chest through, lift, lift, lift. This does not need to be a hard lean. This is just opening the front of your chest. And we're going to turn, turn, turn. I'm gonna do the back first. So, turning my back to you, you can see that I'm holding on to the back of the chair to make sure I don't fall. I, because I have taken one cheek off, supported on the other cheek, I have my foot planted out in front of me. This outside leg is going to reach back and I'm going to lift up. So you can reach forward or you can reach up. And good. So in case you are wondering what I was doing from the back, same thing here. I'm holding on to the back of the chair. I have slid one cheek off. My foot is planted. Bella, <laughs> you're right in the way, but my foot is planted right underneath my knee. This leg is going to drop down. You do not have to reach way back. I'm just dropping my knee down toward the floor. And then I am lifting up. This is opening the front of your body. So we lift, lift, lift. You can lift, lift, lift just like this. And fold four, three, two, one. Nice. Make sure you are all the way back on the seat as you rotate back around. I'm going to turn myself to face you now. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath. So that was a shorty, but just a nice little core workout. Uh, and open, open, open. Oh, I love to open the front of the body as often as possible because we do so many things in our life that tend to close, up, close us up. So do that one more time. Open and close. Happy Saturday. That was just a nice, easy core. I hope you enjoy it. Floor core, core on the floor, floor core coming up next.